Did you study well at school? And let's prove our school knowledge right here. Right here we have the easiest challenge you've ever seen. A lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. Addition, multiplication, division, addition. So I learned this stuff in the third grade. So that's fantastic. So right now let's test our school knowledge. Let's test our algebra skills right here. So choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? We have only three options right here, A, B, and C. So choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just 30 seconds. So it will be really interesting and I think a lot of students make this mistake so I'm going to show you a correct answer right here in a few seconds. So first of all let's rewrite our challenge so what do we have right here we have 3 we have plus 3 times 3 divided by 3 and plus 3. Here's our question and a lot of students might be saying okay right here we have addition yeah right here we have addition right here we have multiplication right here we have division yeah and right here we have addition. So as you can see, we have four mass operations. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, let's start, for example, with addition. And other students say, okay, let's start with multiplication. Let's start with division. Let's start with addition. So as you can see, a very randomly method. And right here, the main thing, obviously, whatever order of operation we select, is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And we can't solve this challenge randomly because, for example, if you start with multiplication right here, we have one answer, for example, A. If you start with division right here, we have another answer we have completely different answer and in terms of math it's really bad thing to solve this challenge randomly because it's really weird to fit two different answers two answers with to one question it's really weird and it's really it's not good in terms of math so right now in this first interpretation so this is my explanation about order of operation and right now let's solve this challenge according to a correct order of operation there are a lot of order of operations in the world but i'm going to show you the most popular order of operation this is pemdas order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world all popular internet libraries graphing calculator the most popular engineering calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation and right now let's see how th how this works. A PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom so the first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last step is addition and subtraction group. Okay, so right now let's scan in our question. What do we have right here? Or well, let's go from the top to the bottom. There are two ways how can we do this. But of course, let's start from the top to the bottom because higher position means higher priority. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Okay, first of all, parentheses at first. Let's scan. Where do we have this parentheses? For me personally, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses. So we just, we just skip this part. What about exponents? Let's look closely. Maybe we have exponents like 3 squares, 3 to the 4th power, 3 to the 10th power. I don't have any of those. We don't have any powers. We don't have any exponents. So we also skip this part with, with exponents. So we don't have exponents. We don't have parentheses. And it's really great because with parentheses and exponents, this question will be like more complicated. So it's really great. Right now, multiplication and a lot of students do this mistake. They say, okay, multiplication, now we need to multiply. But it not works like that. It works like in this way. Uh, this is one common group. So multiplication and division this is one one common group so we need to find what is the first sign from left to right so first of all we have multiplication right here right here and second thing we have division because we next to this multiplication we have we have division so right now the main thing doesn't matter multiplication first on the right from right to left or division first from right to left in this case or doesn't matter or whatever we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right in this case we have two signs multiplication and division so multiplication is the first sign from left to right so in our case first step is multiplication and second step is is division this is really important important moment right now let's do this so first step is right here we have multiplication so what do we have right here we have 3 plus 3 times 3 equal to equal to 9 and we have we still have this division we need to write it so right here we have this part with division so plus 3 yes so we complete this multiplication part right now what about division part we can easily do this we have right here division 9 divided by 3 so right now we have 3 plus 9 divided by 3 equal to 3 and plus 3 so we complete this division part the two final steps addition or subtraction we have right here add addition so we need this part this is our third step and we don't have we don't have subtraction so right here addition which is really really basic 3 plus 3 plus 3 equal to equal to 9 and this is our answer this is option b a lot of students if you know a little bit about math i wanted to show you this trick right here math trick so 3 plus 3 times 3 
divided by 3 and plus 3. Just look closely right here. What do we have right here? We have multiplication by 3 and we have division by 3. So same in another word, for example, it looks like plus 5, minus 5, so it changed nothing. We multiply and we divide, it changed nothing, so we can easily cancel this expression. And as a result, we have 3, 3 and 3, which is equal to, which is equal to 9 and option option b so this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if your answer is the same as mine you can also leave a like let's see how many answers are correct to this challenge also write the thoughts down into the comment section and thank you for your time see you in the next videos i have a lot of challenges on my youtube channel a lot of content every day so we hope you will enjoy it so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos